PS5 is set to come out in just a few well weeks at this point. And uh, what we've got is some review units have gone out. Unbox Therapy has got the has got a video out now where he's unboxing it and this thing is massive, you know. Um, and there's other channels that actually have it, so you can go and you can check those out after this stream, of course. Uh, but uh, you know, and and I've been following the development of it. I've been following, like I think many of you, just just you know the, the next PS5. What's gonna what's it gonna be all about? I'm a Sony fan. I'm not a, necessarily a fanboy, but I do have all the consoles still. I still have one through four. Um, I enjoy the console, always have. Um, but a few weeks ago, maybe about a week ago, there was a um, a teardown video that Sony actually produced and uh, and put out. So I wanted to play a clip for you because this is something that's kind of been, if you're familiar with this design at all, it's kind of got this hourglass shape. And there was some, some theorizing that maybe the plastic panels on the side, you could actually take them off, right? They're removable. Uh, so I just want to play a clip of this and then we will discuss. Check this out. As you can see, you can actually just pop those side pieces off, and it doesn't void your warranty. So that begs the question, um, is it possible to customize these things? Maybe somebody's going to come out with replacement panels. This was all just theory, right? There may be a company that has actually beat Sony to the punch. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Spawn Wave for, uh, for bringing this to my attention. He's got a great uh, channel out there, gaming channel. Let me share my screen real quick, and I want to show you. This this is pretty cool. Um, this is, I guess, the free market at work. The uh, website is uh, is PS5. Well, it's actually, it looks like they've actually changed the website's name, customizemyplates.com. But it, uh, the original website was uh, platestation5.com. What this appears to be is custom side panels that you can actually purchase from them. This is a, it's a pre-order item. They claim that they're going to have these things available for launch. But if you scroll down, check these colors out. Um, well, look, this is funny. I checked this earliest product page earlier today, and these were not all sold out. Looks like they all are now. So for the small, small price of $40, it uh, looks like you're going to be able to pick just a few colors. But you're going to have matte black, which that would really – I think that would be awesome with that, with that gloss black on the inside there. And then have the matte – sort of contrast that would be good this looks this I, I don't know if this is my this may be my favorite this red color it reminds me or it doesn't remind me but that would sort of hint at like something sony might do for spider-man right the spider-man console that you know is going to come out um these these red side panels you got the chromatic so is that gonna be like a shiny chrome that would look awesome that would look bad uh the blue is good and i like this so you could see this maybe like a call of duty type uh console now they say uh, that they are not affiliated with Sony. So the question being, if you're not, then how in the world are they doing this? How are they pulling this off? Um, what's the fit and finish going to be like? You know, uh, $40, it's not super expensive, but it's not exactly cheap either for two plastic side panels. They've got to they've do a couple things. They've got to clip into the, I guess, the frame, right? That black frame. So they got to do that. That's got to lock in place tight. And then they've also, the curve has to be correct. You don't want to get this thing and the curve is all off, right? It's all wonky. Uh, so I don't know. So I'm really interested to see how that works out. But even if this doesn't pan out for this company, you can see how Sony, thinking ahead, if they just release instead of consoles, right, they replace these, these side plates. And this could be something similar to like the, I think the Xbox 360, where you had the face plates on the front, you know, you could swap those out to customize your console. This obviously be, could be much more dramatic. And I think we could see more than just color changes instead of just black and gray and white and all that. What if they actually incorporate um, like accessory hangers, right? Like on the side. So this custom molded piece, maybe there's some brackets that come out, hold your controller on the side, you know? Um, I don't know. I think it'd be interesting. Maybe it adds some LED lighting or something on the side. Uh, I think this this could open up a whole new sort of aftermarket for this console where you have, you know, a base 
to build off of. I mean, and who's to say you even have to stay with that shape? You could do all kind of crazy stuff. You know, I think that the generational jumps that we're seeing now, ever since the PlayStation 3, when you had PS2 was, you know, non-HD, right? Not, and then we, we jumped to PS3, that was HD. That was a huge jump. And then jumping from DVD drive to Blu-ray. Now you got uh, incremental changes, in my opinion. Still Blu-ray drives. Uh, it's just not as dramatic. So this could generate some excitement. 